Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're having an issue with your internet speeds being capped at 100 megabits per second and you're using an Ethernet based connection. So, generally, the most Ethernet or gigabit fiber connections are pretty prevalent nowadays, so you really shouldn't be capped at 100 megabytes per second. However, I do want to point out that some older cables. So if you're using, for example, I believe CAT5, not CAT5E, but just CAT5 or lower, it would probably be capped at 100 megabits per second, which would obviously throttle your internet speeds. So either CAT5 or CAT6 Ethernet should be able to support at least 1 gigabit per second speeds. So that's just something to take a look at. So you want to go into the search menu and type in Device Manager. Best results should come back with Device Manager here. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to go underneath network adapters and double click on it. Double click on your network connection listed in here. And then you want to select the advanced tab. On the left side, you want to go underneath speed and duplex. Underneath value on the right side, click the drop down. Select auto negotiation. However, if you also look in here too, if you click the drop down, you can select other speeds as well. You can go all the way up to one gigabit per second full duplex, basically all the way down to 100 megabits per second. So you can make adjustments in here as needed. However, auto should be fine, but you can go up if you have to manually put in one gigabit per second on there as well. And then once that's done, go ahead and select OK. You may also have internet bottlenecks with neighbors perhaps or your internet service provider just might be experiencing some technical difficulties that are limiting bandwidth so you may need to contact them as well so pretty straightforward process on that guys and as always thank you for watching i do hope i was able to help you out and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye